I think I'm live. I think it's live. Hey, everybody. It's Martha. I wanted to come on. I've been off for a little while for other reasons, as you guys know. But I wanted to come on and let you know that I tested positive for COVID-19. Let me know if you can hear me. I am, I'm doing this live. And I don't have my normal setup. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, I just thought I'd come on and share. I shared it on Facebook. <clears throat> but yeah, so that happened yesterday. As you know, I've been having to travel back and forth um, to Houston to get uh, my house ready there that, to put on the market that I used to live in. And so I don't really know where I contracted it. As, as you guys know, I've been super, super careful. <laughs> like, not going anywhere. Like for the last, up until this point, we haven't gone anywhere. Like getting our groceries delivered. So whether it was from going to Home Depot or Sherwin-Williams to buy paint or what, I don't know. Um, yeah, and anything else that we've done, like we went to the beach while we were down there, but we went and there was nobody there, you know. Um, we did stay with my parents and they're getting tested on Monday, but they don't have any symptoms or anything. So that's good. Um so yeah, day before yesterday, I see everybody in the chat. I'm going to come. Hey, hey. Um, day before yesterday, we were here back in Austin and there was a cold one that blew through and I started feeling kind of like, mm, it kind of achy, but I just thought, you know, it's the cold front, you know, a lot of times it blows through stuff and gives you kind of allergies. And then that night, my whole body was just like really hurting and achy. Like I was getting kind of like flu like symptoms. But I didn't have a cough. I didn't have anything else. No fever, nothing. And I'm sharing this, one, to let you know, but two, to say that there's apparently a lots of different symptoms that you could have or not. Um, so, yeah, I was having trouble sleeping and just kind of feeling off. And my parents were planning on coming on Monday because we had – a planned trip to go to a cabin. Again, we were trying to do any things that are socially distanced. We we're going to go stay in a cabin. We had a kitchen where we could just be there and make our own food and everything. Um, and so I thought, you know what? I'm probably going to be negative, but it's because I'm feeling kind of weird. Maybe it's just whatever blowing through, but I'm going to go get a COVID test before my parents come. <laughs> now I'm coughing. Um, so I went and got, I went to a place that did rapid testing that gave you the same day test. And I have heard that they're not as accurate, but the doctor told me there that because it's 90% accurate, 10% not accurate. But she said, if it's positive, it's positive. If it's negative, there's a 10% chance it might be positive. So it came back positive. They x-rayed my lungs. My lungs were clear. Um, they did a flu test too, just to be sure. But I did have my flu shot. Um, what else? So we just have to kind of assume that my kids have it too, because we were together always and yeah, we were sleeping together at my parents, you know, in the same room and everything. Um, <coughs> I just took some Mucinex, so I don't have a whole lot of a cough, but I have a small cough with a teeny bit of stuff coming up. So I, the doctor suggested I take Mucinex and Tylenol. And I thought, I'm going to go ahead and take it even though I don't have a really bad cough, just in case. Like, I don't want anything settling in there. I actually feel better. Today, my nasal sinus has just started kicking in this morning. That That's weird. Um, but I feel better than I did the first day. So, but I'm just trying to um, take it moment by moment. I've had so many people tell me horror stories and like, don't tell me any horror stories right now um, because I know things can change on a dime. Things you'll be fine one day and the next day you're not. I know, I know. Um, but at the moment, I'm just trying to take it literally just moment by moment, not even day by day. Um, and I've started a, a journal that um, – is documenting like all of our symptoms and like our 
which my doodle like our <laughs> oxygen i have one of these oxygen thing, you know temperature and all of our symptoms and when we take this in and um <coughs> <coughs> pardon me um what else i ordered a bunch of soup you know we get grocery delivery from the store we set up a tea station up here uh, upstairs so we can make hot tea I don't know anyway so yeah I just wanted to come on and let you know also if if you're one of my patrons and I do the monthly boxes I'm gonna hold off until I'm better because I don't want to I'm not even going into my workroom um I'm gonna try to not <laughs> so everything's kind of be, gonna be off a little bit I'm looking in the chat now thank you for being here everybody yeah, I, I, I don't feel terrible. Now that I'm talking about it, I'm, I'm actually, I don't know if it's because I just took some mucinex, but I just feel, now I'm starting to feel sweaty. Or maybe because I'm talking so much. I haven't been talking a lot. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Anyway. So, oh, Mary says, she, oh, yeah, you, you self-isolated and still caught it. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, I know how careful we've been. So I don't know, honestly, I don't know how I got it, if it was just from going into a store to get stuff for the house or or what. Because we, we haven't, like, I haven't gone into restaurants. I haven't gone shop, like, generally just shopping or I don't even know. Um, Christine said mine lasted a few days. It was fine. Oh, Mary's lasted four months. Yeah, see, a friend of mine, a friend of mine who lives in the neighborhood, she got, her family caught it, and, like, she still has lingering effects from it, and it's been months. She caught it pretty early in the whole pandemic, and her mother-in-law and brother-in-law are still in rehab. They caught it in June, maybe, and they're still in rehab now, so it's like, um, yeah. Okay, so, I'm, yeah, I tested positive. I'm looking real fast. <laughs> oh, people, some of these things. Okay. So I'll keep you posted. I'm, I don't know that I'm going to come on and post stuff. Clearly, I'm not looking my best. But, um, oh, yeah, we are taking vitamins. Don was saying vitamin D helps. We're taking, you know, vitamin C, vitamin D, elderberry elderberry extract i'm trying to think what else i have down there um i have not lost my sense of smell finds it yesterday I, i'm not very hungry which is strange for me because i can always eat but i i had to kind of when we got the soup yesterday i ate a lot of soup um because all i'd eaten yesterday was an apple so having lost my sense of or my appetite it's not the worst thing in the world that can happen right now but um yeah, but I've been making tea with ginger and lemon and honey. Yeah, I need to get zinc. You're the third person that's told me about getting zinc. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Let's see. Uh, you tested positive a week ago, feeling much better. Yeah, see, that's what I'm hoping. Um, we're just going to take it super easy. We're not going to focus on doing anything but but just getting better pretty much. Um, let's see. Vitamin D. Okay, yeah, we'll keep on top of our vitamin D for sure. I keep seeing people talking about that. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much all. I, I wanted to come on and let you know. So far, no fevers. The kids are pretty okay. You know, their oxygen levels are good. Their temperatures are good. The most they've had is like a bit of stomach upset and some headaches, but that's it. That's pretty much it. So I'm rocking the, I took a bath. I've been taking hot baths too. That's one of my favorite things, by the way, by the way, Epsom salts. I've been putting tea tree, like essential oil, like drops into it just to kind of, you know, tea tree can help clear your sinuses and stuff. So yeah. So yeah, that's all that's going on over here. Um, I'll keep you posted. I'll probably post on, on Facebook. But yeah, and I'll call the kids doctors on Monday to let them know what's going on with that. 
Okay. I just wanted to come let you know what was going on with me. I hope you're having um, a good one and stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you.